morning everybody. It's Monday, January 15th. Happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. We are up. I'm up. And Ralphie's up. Yes, it's the 15th. 13 more days! 13 more days for what? Tell my birthday. 13, not 15. Oh, your birthday. He's going to be 7. January 28th. Fun run, but one of my friends wants to. And then when it's like, oh, my friend from school, from my big school practice, I mean, my big school games in. Yeah. Yeah, we're having a little party and for gonna, him. Party for him and our. Um, and I'm going to have a flash. Great cake. nephew Bryce. They're gonna, Bryce's birthday party is. Or birthday is right. It's the 29th. Is it 29th? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, it's right around Rappi's birthday. So we're going to have no, a birthday party 29th. together. Yeah, right around yours. The day after yours. Uh. Yours is the 28th. So it's right around your birthday. It's right after. So Rappi was making fun of me because I had my robe on this morning. He said, he said, don't mind all the Christmas stuff still here. We got to put that away. We have <laughs> so much stuff downstairs because we've been redoing the house. We have stuff everywhere and it's just a mess. We, I can't find my once we get everything sorted out, did it'll be all good. Away? I didn't throw your robe away. Well, you throw everything away. I do not. I do not throw everything away. Yeah, you do. Well, if it's sitting around for a while, I throw it away. If it's sitting around for a long time, it'll be like you don't need it, so I throw it away. But I don't throw your robe away. I wouldn't throw your rub away. I, I would put it in your room. So anyway, this is my robe, even though Brad wears it all the time because I don't, I don't normally wear it. I usually just wear like I'll put on sweatpants and a t-shirt or something like that. But I just grabbed it yesterday, and then I grabbed it again today. So we slept in a little bit today. We should have got up earlier because we need to go do some stuff today. I need to go to the store. I need to run a few errands because we didn't run any errands yesterday. So now we have to do it today. And then whatever we have left tomorrow. Why would we do it yesterday? So, excuse me, lips over there. What are you babbling about over there? I said, why did we not do it today? We had your baseball practice yesterday. And then we came home and then we just did other stuff and just didn't do it yesterday. It was too cold. We didn't feel like going yesterday. And it's still cold today, but we got to do it. We can't just stay in and hibernate all winter. I wish we could, though. So, Brad and Marco are still in bed. I'm going to make some breakfast here. I think I'm going to make some eggs. I got some eggs I'm going to make. And then a toast, and I bought some turkey sausage yesterday, too. So, I'm cooking breakfast here. I'm getting ready to cook the sausage here. And then um, I'm going to do the eggs here in a minute. But I wanted some coffee candles. I had a... Uh, itching for some coffee scent so I have I went down and got my caramel coffee from it's the bold brew company I believe is what it's called that was sent to us from subscriber I think a couple of years ago they sent us like three different ones like that and I've burned the other two but that's the last one that I had I had lit it before but um, I hadn't finished it so I had I'd only lit it like once for just a little while so I'm gonna light that up then I also brought up my, this is from, this is the um, roasted espresso, I believe. Yes, roasted espresso from Swan Creek Candle Company. Now that's a really good coffee scent. So I have that going there. And then um, I'm gonna put some wax melts too. I don't know if I'm gonna do the wax melt at the same time. I might, just so it'll be real nice and coffee smelling up in here. I have caramel, caramel coffee. This is from JD Sensations. Mm, smells really good. Peanut, what do you want? Peanut smelling at me. What? You want a treat? Or are you out of food? You might be out of food. Let me see. 
Yes, you're out of food. Well, you're not out of food. It's just up in there. You're almost out. Do you want that or do you want a treat? You probably want a treat. It's kind of early for a treat. I only give it to you in the evening. Do you want it now or do you want to wait till the evening? Meow if you want it now. If not, I'll give it to you in the evening. Meow if you want it now. Okay. I guess we'll get it this evening. I'll give you more uh, cat food though. Brad has breakfast in bed. He's been wanting breakfast in bed for a while. He says I, sweet. I never make him breakfast in bed, so he's eating on Ralphie's little ninja turtle tray. Because we don't have no other tray. Isn't that sweet? Mmm. Yummy. Okay, so we're out and about. We just what? I love this song. You love this song? Yeah. Low Rider. Huh? How do you know this song? I'm too young to know this song. I heard the song before. Oh, okay. All this stuff Marco listens to, I'm sure he's heard it. Marco listens to a little bit of everything, but lately more hip hop rap than anything lately. Well, anyway, we dropped Marco off. <laughs> At his girlfriend's house, he wanted to go over there for a while. He's gonna just go over there for a couple hours. So, uh, went over there, went inside. Brad made sure it was okay with his mom, and he went over there. And now we're gonna go do our errands. We're gonna stop by Starbucks first to try the new blonde. They have a new blonde roast espresso. We want to try it. It's supposed to be smoother, not quite as strong, which is probably of my alley because I don't like real strong coffee flavors. I don't like it to taste like coffee black so coffee at all. I like it to taste smooth. So, um, yeah, we're going to try that out and do a little taste test on it. So, we went to order and they don't have the bonus espresso in decaf. So, I can't get it because I don't drink caffeine. We ordered for Brad, so I don't even know. I guess we could still do a taste test and just, I can I can take a few sips of his, but I can't drink the whole thing because I don't drink caffeine at all. I'm just real sensitive to caffeine. So, maybe we'll do that. I just got a caramel macchiato with just regular coffee. So, that sucks. We asked if they'd be getting it in and decaf and they said probably not. What the heck? So anyway, yeah, we're gonna might just do a taste test and I'll taste Brad's. A couple sips. So Rafi was asking me about this song because every time I, he says stuff, I'll make it into a song. So I said, he said finally, and then I sang Fan, finally. You come along the way I feel about you just can't be wrong. If you only knew. Marco up. Yeah. See, we're there for a few hours now. We're uh, going to Costco. It's freezing outside. We got an email saying they canceled school tomorrow because dangerous wind chills in the morning. Wind, sh wind chills. He uh, he put wind shields. I text Marco wind wind shields. Dangerous like, uh, wind, okay. shields. wind shields. Oh, yeah. That wind is freezing. Oh gosh. It's so we got back home from the store and me and Mark were making dinner. We're making this uh, 
We have chicken in the oven. This cooking in there. And then we're making this. And it's called Parmesan. 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 It's tomato. Parmesan. that? Parmesan tomato zucchini bake. We have zucchini squash, yellow squash, tomatoes, and you line them all up like that. And then we have to put some garlic powder, onion powder, salt, or black pepper and onion. And then we put Parmesan, Parmesan on cheese on the top there, and you bake it in the oven for like 30 minutes, 25, 30 minutes. So hopefully it sounds really good. All right, so we got the chicken out of the oven. It's done. Now we're gonna put in our Parmesan. What was that called again? Parmesan bake, Parmesan tomato zucchini bake. Got to put that in the oven for about 25 minutes or so. 25 minutes. Can you okay. My turn. Because I always do. Okay, so we got our uh, dinner done. We got the Parmesan tomato zucchini bake. Isn't that what it was called? Yeah. It looks really good. Yum, yum, yum. And our chicken again. We put it back in the oven and warm it up a little bit. And then we're going to have a little salad with it. We're going to have a um, like a Caesar salad, I think, with it. Okay, so dinner is ready. We have our salad, Caesar salad, and our squash and tomatoes bake and then our chicken that we cooked in the oven it has like a sweet pecan seasoning on it got a little wine here got some something red semi-sweet Missouri table wine and I got our candle I have strawberry sorbet from Bath and Body Works from the sweet shop collection So I just ate dinner, and it was pretty good. Chicken was good, salad was good. The zucchini tomato parmesan bake. I always forget what it's called exactly. Excuse me, it was it was okay, but I feel like it needed to be cooked a little bit longer. I felt like the squash was still fairly raw, even though it said cook it for 30 minutes. We cooked it for just about 30 minutes. But I feel like maybe, and there wasn't enough seasoning, because you sprinkled the seasoning, sprinkled, I don't know, Marco took it downstairs, I think. Well, it needs to come back upstairs so this trash can go in it. Sprinkled seasoning on the top, but I think we, it needed to be inside the squash maybe if we would have like took it and put it in a bag and like shook it up, put like some olive oil in there or something or some pesto sauce and like shook it up with more seasoning. So the seasonings got coated around each piece. It would have been a little bit better and then maybe cooked it a little bit longer because I like my squash really soft and it was a little bit crunchy. I prefer my squash softer. Usually I I put it in a pan and I cook it that way with like some cumin on it and it gets really soft that way. But uh, it was pretty good. I think I would just next time maybe doctor it up. We found out on Pinterest, if you do recipes on Pinterest, almost always have to double the seasonings because if you don't if you don't double the seasonings, it's usually not enough seasoning in there. That's what we found out. So next time I'm just gonna double the seasoning on anything I cook with Pinterest because most, nine times out of 10, it's not gonna be enough seasoning. So I will make sure to do that the next time. So since the boys didn't have school tomorrow, we're, we're decided Martin. to play a game of life. Huh? I was gonna say we're playing Martin Luther King, so. Martin Luther King game? I have to, uh, I have to, uh, uh, Stop bending the cards. Uh, I have to, uh, live in my pool today. He had to buy a pool. And not home But he doesn't have a house yet. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Yours. Oh. Okay. Well, can you hold it? I got it. I've been holding it. One. <laughs> One. Where are you? Action. Action. You voted the you voted the nicest person ever. Give everyone a compliment and spin. Spin collect from the bank. One to five, fifty K, six to ten, one hundred K. Mark, you're a very intelligent, handsome young man, doing really good in school. I try. Very proud of you. Brad, you're a good husband and I love you so much. You're 
such a special, special husband. Thank you. Okay. Ralphie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you left him blank. Wow. You leave him a hold. Well, you don't want to say the same thing. Because <laughs> he could say the same thing about Ralphie, but he already said that, so he's got to think of something else. You're a very smart, intelligent young man, and you read very well in school, and you're doing really good in all of your subjects. What and I'm very subjects? proud of you. In all your subjects. You know, I still don't get what that means. All your subjects reading English, oh. math. Yeah, I don't do that. <laughs> you give yourself a compliment. Didn't say that. No. So I get everyone a compliment. Spin. If I spin one to five, I get 50k. Six to ten, I get 10k. Or 100k. Okay. What did so I get? I got 50. Three, I get 50k. bed got into bed under the nice electric blanket it's kind of hot though now i think i need to turn it off don't take long to warm up in here Ooh, my legs are hot <laughs> it feels really good when you get in here but i gotta turn it off i didn't turn it off before i got in here i like it to be warmer i want to get in here but then once i'm in here I, it needs to be off because it's too hot for me keep it going now in the living room earlier though i did have my electric blanket and it, i kept it on and it was nice and warm that it is cold outside, very cold. You have this higher than the one in there. That's true. Well, I had that one up pretty high tonight because it was freezing in there. It seemed like well, not freezing, but it was really cold. But okay, we're gonna go to bed. Played life with the boys, and then watch a little TV after that, and then uh, now we're heading to bed. Got to get up tomorrow. Run a few more things we didn't do because it was so cold today, and we just I didn't, we didn't want to do it all. I was just we were ready to get home after we went to the store and stuff. We didn't want it. It's too cold to go in and out. It's going to be just as cold tomorrow. Uh -huh. So we split it up so I have to do it all in one day. Alright, so thanks for watching. Please comment, thumbs up, and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you all in our next vlog. Good night. Good night, y'all.